All right, um, I just want to show you uh, just this link that I found. This is not a programming video. This is just a, um, hey, look what I can do kind of thing. And this really has nothing to me. Um, WebGL is a technology that is not really available yet. You have to turn it on if you're using Firefox. Uh, I'm using Firefox 4. If you want to turn it on, you actually have to go to about colon config um, and turn it on. Um, it's the only browser and you can type in WebGL and you can turn these on here. Firefox 4 is the only browser that can actually do this that you can download. Uh, if Chrome and Safari, you actually have to download the WebKit. Uh, well, you can download a new version of Chromium and get that. Or WebKit, you can download a nightly build of WebKit. But uh, right now, Firefox 4 is the only one that these work on. But this is coming. Okay, this is going to be uh, a big thing for the web. Let me show you. Okay. Let's take a look at this first demo it's called Aquarium. All right, um, so let's let it load. Okay, and we're going to go full screen because we really need to get fully immersed. And notice I'm at 90%. Okay, um, and that's about right. My computer isn't going crazy. My CPU is at about 80%, 80-90%. Let's go into full screen, just really get immersed in this. Okay, we've got an aquarium. Let's hop up to a thousand fish. We're at about 30 frames per second with a thousand fish, um, and that's partially because I'm also screencasting right now. This is, I don't know if, about you, but this is really smooth for me. I mean, this is just crazy that this is not Flash. This is not, uh, this is WebGL, graphics accelerated. You can change the view. Now I'm looking at the globe from outside. It's ridiculous. You can do these options. Uh, I can take out the reflection. I can even take away the tank if I want to and just have these fish. I can get rid of the fog. Um, this is crazy, the kind of uh, animations that are going on in here. Um, this is amazing, really. Uh, it says I have to hit L. Let's see what L does. I don't really see the difference that L is doing. But it said hit L for some cool options. Um, at any rate, so you can see. Um, this is all JavaScript. Let me uh, get out of full screen here and just show you that this demo uh, view page source, this demo is all JavaScript. Let's hit up the uh, aquarium common. I mean, this is this whole map is written out in JavaScript uh, and web and I mean to close that and uh, WebGL. So you can really see and uh, you know you've got your options here. I mean, here's here's the fish tank. Here's all these options. I mean. They wrote all this in JavaScript, and we've got a 3D rendered environment. Let's take a look at some of the other demos they have here. Wall of Photos. Uh, everyone has seen Cool Iris plugin. Uh, this is though using WebGL though, so it's incredible speed. Um, can I not go further that way? Incredible speed. I can click, and I can move with my arrow keys now and go through. Um, I mean, just incredible speed and and these animations are just really really nice um, it just goes to show you that where the web is heading is um, really in us as web developers in our favor because it's going to be using JavaScript a language that we know and using math a language that we love to combine these together to create some amazing applications so this is just kind of a heads up letting you know that these are out here I encourage you to look for these demos for HTML5 and CSS3 and WebGL and just just stay on the forefront of these technologies it's gonna it's gonna be really important that there's a lot of developers for these technologies so that more and more people can start to use these and these things become really amazing so keep an eye out for this stuff